This is our PJ, and welcome to the Reginald P. Jones Show. I want to give out a quick shout out to uh, a couple of people right now. And um, I know a lot of people are going to be upset about this, but I'm going to give a shout out anyway. I'm going to give a shout out to Network TV, Styles of Network, Network TV, Network TV. It's hard to say that. I don't know why. I got a big tongue. Network TV, Styles of Network TV. Uh, over the Christmas holidays, uh, that time there, uh, he was doing some very interesting topics. And I thought his perspective on certain topics that uh, he was talking about was actually spot on. Now, I have seen some things that I haven't liked, uh, that I totally disagree with. But I do believe that he is authentic and genuine in his beliefs. And he has a valid uh, argument. You can see that he's a well thought out guy. And he comes from a, 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 a place of information, of knowledge. Uh, so I will not question what he knows. I will not question his intelligence. Obviously, he's intelligent. So uh, I do disagree with a few things, a couple of things that I, I totally disagree with and on uh, his perspective. And I uh, did like the shoe thing. I don't know what the shoe thing was all about, but that's, your, you know, that's your, what you like. That's what you're into. Uh, and uh, so be it. But yeah, I, it doesn't make me hate you. It doesn't make me want to uh, put you down or, you know, anything like that, you know, that's your preference. You probably don't like some things that I do, you know, probably don't like that um, I'm very handsome or strong or in shape. I don't know what you, <laughs> a lot of these guys don't like that I'm handsome or articulate uh, or in shape. They don't like that. They're probably, and I know that's one rap face being uh, doesn't uh, particularly like you because you actually show them up because you're going to out-rap them, out-think them, out-talk them, and, uh, uh, yeah, he fucked up on that. He fucked up that friendship. He probably would have fucked up that partnership. You, he probably could have used you to elevate himself. Now he's the cosmic joke of that sector of YouTube. But anyway, Network TV, Styles of Network TV, I want to give you a shout out. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute. I got one more. I want to give out a shout out to Mike Mills. That's right. That's right. Mike Mills and Mike Mills Blog Talk Radio. Mike Mills uh, is, or was, or is a personal friend of mine. Now, of course, he dumped on me a time back where this stupid bitch was telling lies about me. And so he piled on with the lies and bullshit. So, um, yeah, I wasn't too happy about that. But um, again, you, if you know me, you know, I don't take any of that shit seriously. I don't, I, I swear to you, I have never, I don't even think about it. I swear to you, I have not thought about it. I only thought about it as I'm talking now. It doesn't bother me in the least. Uh, I'm doing well and swell for myself these days. I've never had problems with women ever in my life. And I have a great uh, woman right now. So I'm pretty, very, pretty, very, pretty, very happy. What? <laughs> But, the, you know, I didn't like that my friends would pile on, but I kinda t he kind of knows me that I don't give a shit, so it's not really a problem. And the fact that even though I went on other people's show, uh, he doesn't he doesn't really have that a problem. He doesn't have a problem with me doing other people's show. So, and I know I've been, I, I used to do time sort of my your show, and, uh, and then I stopped doing that. Not because I, I don't want to, it's just that I got really busy in life and he was coming on kind of late and although now Mike Mills comes on pretty late as well and but anyway, I, I don't know, I just I figured that I could, you know, have more, I can talk more on Mike Mills show than I can do on Sotomayor show. Sotomayor likes to hold up the mic. So, uh, even though he has a larger audience that probably would benefit me well as well. What? But I don't get to shine, you know, I don't get to talk and ramble on and uh, make the crowd laugh or make the crowd go, hmm, good point, RBJ. Good point, Jonathan Still. I can do that on the Mike Mills show and other shows that I've been on. California Guy, I've been on the Black, what's this one? There's a new one I've been on. Black Mental Radio. Black Mental Radio. I was on 
and they're on every day. I'm gonna try to do that show all the time. They're on at 7 p.m. and um, I'll give you the number. The number will be in the in, um, inbox. What? The number will be in the description box. I'm sorry, I'm very stupid today. My name has been Jonathan Steele. <laughs> Thank you. Hello there, hi and welcome folks. My name is RPJ and this is Jonathan Still. That's right. What? Jonathan Still. I am Jonathan Still. This is Jonathan Still. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I wrote this stuff down here because bear with me. I want to tell you some real problems that I have. You see, there are so many people on the internet, on the fabulous world, YouTube, or even on Facebook, or whatever, and social media that will pretend that their world is so perfect, that they have got money at the wazoo, their relationship is fine, everything, the sex life is great, this, that, and the other, and it can't possibly be. It can't possibly be, but I'm gonna break the mold here and I'm gonna tell you some real life problems that I do have. Now, you can judge me all you want, I don't care. You can judge me, but I wanna be the first to come clean with this. I want you guys to know who I really am. I have problems just like you have problems. I have issues like you have issues. So, so let me tell you a couple of my problems that I'm having right now. And I wrote it down because I wouldn't think of it myself. Because nothing is really a problem per se, but anyway, here we go. I have now five clients. I had six clients, but I lost a client. So now I'm down to five clients. Five clients times 20 to $25 per day for five days. But I lost one, I'm down to five now, and but I hope we can build that up. See, it's not really a problem per se because it's, it's the ebb and flow of personal training. I'm gonna get more anyway, but it's a problem right now. Uh, I need a couple more pieces of furniture. I have that room there that has no furniture in it, so I actually want to put furniture in that room because that's the room I want to be shooting videos in that room of where I live at. So I need more pieces of furniture. I, is that a problem per se? It just, yeah, I guess it's a problem, but it's not that big a deal. You know, it's just furniture, what the fuck? But it's a problem, I don't have furniture. I don't have all, uh, furniture for that room. Um, my girl had the flu, and that was problematic. I mean, she was sweating the bed up. I mean, she was coughing up a storm, so she had the flu a little bit. In fact, she still has the last remnants of the flu today. But she went out to the doctor, uh, and I didn't feel that it was a need for me to go with her. So, you know, I stayed here shooting videos for you, the public, because I care about the public. Um, my girl also has very uh, hurt wrists. Uh, I was thinking that it was carpal tunnel in both wrists, or I said bone issue in both wrists, but she has very severe uh, uh, sore and hurting wrists. I mean, very painful, where we have to, I actually have to take her to the uh, hospital and, and get her a proper medication for her wrist, a, a, a proper uh, steroid for her wrist. So they've been very painful to her and uh, I'm really uh, concerned about her long term with her wrist and, and, and other things as well. Um, oh, this is, the, this is the very first time I have... No and I also do not own a car. For the first time in my life, I have no car, I don't own a car, I have no access to a car. This, and this hasn't happened to me since I had my license when I was 19 years old. So that's a problem as well. Now, now these things are not really problems, these are, these are just uh, impediments for the now. These are things that I have to get accomplished. So I don't really look at problems as a problem per se, just look at it as a obstacle to overcome. Look at it as a something that I must achieve. So I don't look at problems maybe like some of you guys look at problems. These are just goals of mine to tick off as I go and get them done. So I'm just like you, but better. 
because, you know, I'm just like you. I have problems just like everyone else. I'm not perfect. Although I will make a video show saying that I'm perfect, but I'm not perfect. You know, I get razor stubble, uh, get pimples from time to time. Uh, what else? Um, I got a scar on my head. I'm not perfect. Um, what else? That's about it. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty close to perfect, but I'm not perfect. Now, I'm not even close to perfect. I'm just fucking around right now. So I'm just like you, but I'm just better than you. That's the truth. I know it sounds very narcissistic, but it is the truth. But I'm just humanoid, just like you guys. I have my issues as well. Oh, I'm currently not uh, having great conversations with my mother and father. Uh, we haven't talked in a bit. Uh, but that's not really a problem. It's just a, uh, it's just a thing. Like you know, I just we just haven't talked. It's not really a problem per se. I don't know. So anyway, I'm the first of my kind to will will admit these problems that I have. So you can judge me all you want. Go ahead, judge me. Go ahead. But just know, I'm better than you. Always. My name is RPJ. This has been the RPJ Show. My name is Jonathan Still, and this has been Jonathan Still. Thank you. Was the Reginald P. Jones Show, and he was RPJ. Mm -hmm.